Good afternoon, guys. We've just got just a couple hours till people get here. Wrapping stuff up inside. Whatever time I've left, I'll spend outside. I gotta clean up the table real quick and then out in the garage. But inside is 99% done. I'm doing the final tuning of the system. I got everything wired. This is how this side is gonna look. Nice and clean. The other side of the speaker is out just a bit. I've got the main speakers disconnected. I'm doing the sub crawl right now. This is why I gave myself a long lead wire to the sub so I could use it while it's plugged in over here, even though it's not gonna sit on the couch. This is where you would be sitting somewhere along here. So you put the signal source, the subwoofer, where you're gonna be sitting. And you might have to do some tweaking depending on your physical sub like I did, because this is a down firing 15. I put it on this uh, bin lid, because otherwise it would sink into the couch, and I've got a rear-facing base port, so I put that out the side so it wouldn't be sucked up in the back of the couch. But you put that where you're sitting, and then you put on some bass-heavy music. I'm just streaming this bass channel from Pandora. Works great. The main speakers are disconnected, so no bass, no sound is coming out of those. So you just crank it up, and then you literally put your head down near ground level and you know, walk around, crawl around, and listen to the way the sound changes. You will find certain spots the bass disappears. That's not where you wanna put the sub. Some spots it gets incredibly boomy, like especially if you go into a corner. That corner is just <laughs> terrible, muddy, sloppy bass. You don't wanna put the sub there. What you're looking for is right in the middle where the bass is clean, crisp, even leveled, you can use, like I said earlier, a Spectrum Analyzer app if you have one. I bought one years ago on my phone, so I've got that. But your ears are the best judge. So if you can do this, this is all you need to, is your ears and the line to physically do it. Other than that, you'll have to put the sub in different places, use the app on your phone or whatever, and walk around the room, test, move it again, test, move it again. It takes a lot of time. This is instant. Luckily, very luckily, I found that pretty much anywhere along this wall gives me nice, even keeled bass. So I think just for aesthetics, I'll kind of put it towards here so it kind of mimics the entertainment cabinet there. And the wife has her nice big blanket basket thing that'll round out that side. So now I can put everything back together and actually do a level tuning. Most modern receivers these days have this feature. You, you plug in a special microphone, and same thing. You put it where you would be listening. They come with a little thing for a light stand or a speaker stand, and you literally set this up on a little tripod or whatever at your level, and you quiet the house, turn the thing on, put it in test mode, and after a couple minutes, it completely levels and EQs every individual speaker for the specific room and furniture that's in it. So it cancels out reflections, it EQs each speaker across the frequency range to counteract for those dips and peaks because you can't move your other speakers. They're in the ideal spots and they are what they are. You have to do that through the signal. But the subwoofer, you do it physically. Okay, time to do tuning. It's very important that the room is silent. Turn off all sources of noise. I just turned off the fan. I set the temp up to turn off the AC. Make sure that everything is in its proper place and nothing's obstructed. I shut the door so it wouldn't obstruct the speaker. I'm gonna take these pillows down because they certainly absorb sound. Everything else is normal as I would be sitting. Now, once you start it, you move out of the area. That has to be you and nothing else in the room. So you being in the room would be absorbing and reflecting. So, oh crap, I gotta find the remote for my stereo. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna go find that and then press start and the whole thing just takes 10 or 15 minutes, depends on your system. From there, everything is perfectly tuned for your room as far as levels, phase, and some receivers, a general EQ. Found it. This is literally the only thing I use the original remote for. I've got a, a basic uh, universal that I use for the system now, but I have the top of the line Harmony remote that integrates with the smart home going in. That'll be a big project next week, programming all of that. All right, um, assuming enter, start. Yep, all right, shh.
Oops, I forgot to plug back in. <laughs> yeah, that would help. Let's try that again. Okay, all done, and now I can just save my results into memory. The cool thing is it not only does EQ and levels, but it also does and measures the distance between the seating position and all the speakers, so it sets all the delays. <laughs> Oh yeah, my wife comes out of the shower, she says, are you kidding me? I said, what? I thought she thought it was too loud. She says, this is our sound system? It sounds like we're in a theater. <laughs> I need a bigger TV. Now from here, once you get everything set in, you fine tune it to taste. I find just moving over one foot slightly better. So you know what? It's going to live there. Good to go. Yeah, I definitely need, I'm thinking the 82, I really am. This is a 60. If I do the 75, it will probably just go to the edges of that wall. If I do the 82, that's gonna really fill in the space. It's not that much more. Uh, here's a, the dilemma. The Q6 series, Samsung that I'm interested in comes in both those sizes. The Q8, which I am considering, it's another 1500 bucks. The primary advantages of it are instead of one giant LED contrast, it gives different zones. So you get better contrast, but only in HDR content and I play Blu-rays, which are 1080p. Both of them upscale extremely well but I'm not gonna reap the benefits of HDR until HDR 4K Blu-rays are easily available like at Redbox. So it's gonna be a while, probably my two TVs from now when that happens. So I'm not really set on getting the eight over the six. That's really the biggest advantage. The other one is off axis viewing. Like if I was doing a lot of viewing from this chair, it would be a little bit better because of the, the shift, but I sit here. <laughs> so that's not really a, a thing either. But here's the big advantage um, to the six. The eight series does not come in 82. It stops at 75. So we'll see. Crap, we just got 40 pounds of ice and I forgot to clean out a cooler. So tools are getting dumped out real quick. <laughs> Got the studio roughed in, cleaned up good enough for today. I've got to figure out where to put all the little stuff. Some of the tools go back in the garage, but for now, this is just kind of sitting here. Got all the studio lights, all four of them, into this switch. This is really cool. I always wanted to do this in the old place, so I don't have to walk around and turn on all the lights. Boom, all four ready to shoot. Ready remotes already good to go. And I gotta put away a little bit of gear and bags there, but everything is put in places. I don't use most of it, but I don't wanna throw it out because it is useful and uh, it's cheap enough where it's not worth selling. Oop, one of my diffusers came loose in there. Gotta fix that. Okay, that's done. Well, I do need to put a latch on this door. At night, when the temperatures, or when, like right now, when it's mild, the door shrinks and there's no interference. But when it's hot out, there is and it stays shut. But the wind just blowing a little bit here is making it rattle. So I'll search for this on Amazon and get the exact same mount system again. I don't see a brand name on it, but the one at Lowe's is totally different. I know what it looks like and what I need. Got the ice in the cooler, ready for the beer. I'm gonna start prepping food. Got to prep the barbecue too, figure out where I want to use that. I think it will live in the corner. 
It's a good spot for the hammock. I like it kind of fully out there. The first night when I had it set up kind of like this, it was half covered and half not, and the rain soaked half of it, so it pretty much went vertical until it dried out. That's what Chloe loves barking at. <laughs> so with it fully out, it stays level and gets evenly wet. Got some big ashtrays out. Not that today's gonna be a herf, but getting ready. I just need to clean this up real quick. Pretty much everything has to go in the garage. And I think we are just about done. Got the office cleaned up. Living room's done. Oh, I gotta reassign some switches. That's about it. Time to prep food. Now we're cooking appetizers. What do you call these? Garlic smashed potatoes. Garlic smashed potatoes. Another batch in the oven. No, there's and... three layers. Ah, time to make up kebabs. Bacon wrap, Cajun shrimp. Steak kebabs. It's getting smoky out here. I got the chimney going. Should be rolling by now. Coals will be hot in about 20 minutes. I'll tell you, if you use charcoal and you don't use a chimney, you are a fool, my friends. These things get them roaring hot. In record time, you just dump them in the grill. Almost time to eat. I need a drink. We got people finally showing up. Should have five or six more showing up. And I'll have lots of leftovers. <laughs> Wife is having fun giving group tours. Getting there. You know they're done when the coals are white and the flames are gone. I still have some flames just licking the top there. And then they're all lit evenly and you can dump them. Well, the test party is working. I'm finding a bunch of little things that I need to order tonight, one of which is a barbecue prep table. I'm used to having that little bistro that I had at the old house. Threw that out because, no, I gave that to a neighbor, gave that to uh, Chris. But I don't have anything to set my food down right now because it's way over on the other side. So a uh, whole bunch of stuff, uh, definitely working. We're having fun. Just got done uh, with the first round of food here. Kebabs came out great. I'm gonna let everybody play with VR a little bit later in the evening. Uh, just uh, enjoying some beers on the patio. The weather is perfect tonight. See you guys tomorrow.